First of all, top of the morning to everyone. Oh, Justin, should I let them know that we're actually planning on moving seats? This yeah. used to be occupied by another company, but I think in due time, in the next several weeks, we will be moving here. And the studio is down there. New seat assignments. Sitting here, Justin, you're sitting here. Tommy, Andrew, Zoe's over there, Jay's over there. Probably gonna have a nice couch set up over here. If we're lucky enough, maybe put a television here. But that's just wishful thinking. Oh, I'm getting distracted. Carissa's working on a big article and we're gonna go chop it up with her. All right, Carissa, what are yeah. we looking at? So these are samples of pastel, Kanye's first clothing line that never came out. Um, In what year? These are all kind of different, I think. Well, these were some of the earliest designs. So these, I think, are like 2007, 2006, 2007. Okay, and you worked on an article talking about this. Yeah, so I've been working on this story for a very long time. Um, basically, the story talks about what happened to Pastel, why it never came out, um, who were some of the people who worked on it, some of the things that they designed. Um, yeah, and they were supposed to like, there's a bunch of like information there. I don't want to like spoil it for anybody, but it's like, you know, uh, they worked with third close to 30 people on this brand they were supposed to open stores like just like any information that you would have wanted to know about pastel basically is probably in the story what, what are those over there so these are samples of uh, mascot which was supposed to be Kanye's I guess technically first rumored clothing line it was supposed to be backed by Rockwear apparently this was wait this was like college dropout days. Look at that. I feel like a lot of people are gonna say that it's not really up to Kanye's status or... Yeah, it's so crazy to think that like how Yeezy is now or even his women's line to see this, cause this is... This feels very amateurish. I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm not really, <laughs> I have no right to criticize at all, but you know, this is just my personal preference. I think the coolest thing about these two specifically, um, and some of the other t-shirts too, is that like, so the guys who helped design this shirt told me that, you know, they would go to thrift stores or like Rose Bowl flea market in LA and just buy a bunch of vintage tees and Kanye would go through them and tell them what they liked. And some of that vintage stuff directly inspired the design. So this one I think was inspired by a sweater that honestly, based on what they were telling me, looked pretty much the same. It had a rose and piano keyboard. <laughs> and um, for you guys who like know pastel, there's that other shirt that has like a, a basketball through the hoop. And that one was inspired by like a vintage Detroit Pistons shirt that looks literally the same too. So <laughs> personally, I would have loved for him to come out with the clothing line just because it was kind of part, I mean, not these designs. I mean, but you know what though? If these came out in like 07, 08, people would have bought them, you think right? So? Like everything yeah. was like okay. huge graphics, logos, like it would have, I mean, now you look at it and you're like, what, what is this? But back then I think it would have done well. And also just like, who knows what Kanye, what it would have done for like his career, I guess, if, he had come out with this obviously his fashion career what it would have done for his fashion career if he had put out this stuff I mean those, if you look at the ins I mean obviously these are just samples but the way that they were oh. done is not exactly like okay that threw me for a loop <laughs> the best but also they're just samples so they're not they obviously wouldn't have been yeah produced that way if oh. they were actually selling them but all right, Carissa, where can they read up on this article for more details? Just online, complex.com. Um, yeah. It's really long, but I hope you guys read it. Cool. So, big news that just happened. Yes, Cristiano Ronaldo's leaving Real Madrid. For a casual soccer fan, why is this very significant? Because he's one of the two best players in La Liga, the other player being Messi, who's better than him. But um, it's a big deal because he's been at this club since 2011, I think. He's won four championships with them, which is a ridiculous amount. Three consecutively, which has never happened before. Um, he's pretty much a legend for that club. A club that has had so many legends play for them, and now he's leaving. 
to go to Juventus, which is also a big club in Italy, but not really on the same level as Real Madrid. And I personally think he's only going there to evade the Spanish tax authorities because he owes like 18 million in taxes. But isn't that nothing for him? I guess. Why right? not just he pay your just, taxes then? I guess, yeah. It's hard he to like, I think, then. got jail time. But if it's like less than two years, you don't actually have to serve it in Spain. You can just pay the fee. It's a very weird system. Messi, that also happened to Messi. Damn, so nobody both pay, of these guys? Oh, yeah, like, yeah. Nobody, no soccer players in Spain pay their taxes. What? Yeah. Why? I don't know. They, they all, all get charged with tax fraud. There's been like five in the past year that have been charged Sheesh. with tax fraud. Okay, well, with this, this move is clearly bigger than when LeBron left to Miami, right? No. No? No. It's different. Because LeBron like hurt a lot of Cleveland fans when he did that. Ronaldo wasn't really hurting any fans because he did so much for the club, they can't be mad at him oh, for okay. leaving. Yeah, it's different. So it's, it's kind of like LeBron now. Yeah, it's kind of like LeBron now going to LA. That's what it's kind of like. So there's four teams left in the yes. World Cup. Uh, your prediction is still on track because Croatia is still in there, right? Yeah, my prediction is going to be it's Croatia France in the final. Okay, and there's a game today. Yes, England. No, no. Today is um, France versus Belgium. Yep. Tomorrow is England versus Croatia. Whoever wins today goes to the final. Whoever wins tomorrow faces them in the okay, final. Okay, clearly you have Croatia winning it all. So who wins today? France. France. So France and Croatia in the finals. Yeah. All right, it's lunchtime, y'all. Justin and I shot a clip earlier. I'm gonna insert that after we talk about this lunch. What we have here is margon. Now, Cuban food. We've had Tina's. We've had Sophie's. So far, my favorite is probably Tina's. But you would say margon. I'm saying sandwiches. You go to Sophie's, but. Rotisserie chicken? Oh my god. Can't fuck with it. Okay, cinematics and then straight into the clip that we shot earlier. Is there only one hey. spice? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> cross, cross, cross. One dribble, one dribble, one dribble, tween, tween, one dribble, tween. Oh, one, two, dribble, cross. Tween, 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 tween. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Justin. Cookies. What's up? We're here to talk burgers. Yeah. Boigas. Uh, so what did I just watch? We get a, a mega burger, dog. Right here. It's all, it, man, right here. You got, even if you drive an hour, an hour and a half to come here to drink a burger, to eat a burger, it's worth it. The clip he's referring to is the cold open of episode four, Burger Show, Tommy's. Was that a complete stranger or? Yeah. Yeah? That was, uh, so Tommy's is like the late night spot in LA. Like you pull up on the late night, you get chili burgers after the Dodger game. Hold up, can all the LA viewers confirm this? Just leave it in the comments below. Yeah. Is Tommy's the, the spot? Tommy's is the late night spot. The late night spot, yeah. okay. Yeah, I'm not saying it's better than In-N-Out, but it's like, you know, you come to this open like parking lot, everyone's standing in line, like talking to each other, and it gets pretty lit when uh, the Dodgers win and everyone spills out. So we were here, like after that happened, and you know, people are, People are celebrating, they're drinking, and um, we caught some really like hallmark moments uh, with some of these guys. Okay, and that so episode. So the new, the new, the new, uh, the new anthem is "Drink a Burger." Woo! Drink a burger. Drink a burger. Okay. How many? How many episodes are left? Two. Two more left. Yeah. Two more in the chamber. Two. So the next one is about the best burger in Los Angeles. Ooh. Facts. And the last one is about. The Science of Burgers, shot by another Justin. Wait, Justin, you shot that? Yeah. Okay. Some cool stuff. Out yeah. here adding to the resume and the, the repertoire. All right, Justin, let me get five tweens and then a hezzy cross. Four, five, hezzy cross. What is a hezzy cross? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> Justin, don't know about the hezzy cross. By the way, this basketball is the one with all the signatures, but F it. Oh, shit. 
Twin, 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 Two chains, Rashawn McCants, uh, Lil B, <laughs> Sasha Vujicic, uh, who else? Nate Robinson probably signed this one. Damn, so many people signed this, I forgot. I don't know. 